hello there this is patricia from pinky's world um christmas is now over so i hope you all had a nice celebration if that was your thing um <laughs> i made this before christmas but i wanted to share this video with you anyway because it's a kind of wee gift bag you could take to a new year's party if you wanted to bring some wee items you know whatever you bring to new year's eve parties i don't know but it's a useful wee bag i thought i made it for coco and lots of stuff i'll show you actually what's in it there's the bar a biscuit um lovely special um adult type cocoa um the obligatory candy cane a wee bar of chocolate and a wee spoon don't be telling anybody but i got these in ikea while i was getting my tea <laughs> so i picked up a few of them for um, these kind of parcels but anyway it holds a right wee bit is what I'm saying that's what I have in there and um, it has a wee felt top on it I had a packet of felt I bought in the sale and um, the clearance sale and stamp on it and I've only used dribs and drabs but so it came across and it says right I'm going to use some so I put um, some nice wee sides to cover my join more or less the whirly thing is also a retired one it's retired a couple of years I used the stamp set gift given and the papers are from Shining Christmas and I've, I think I've wiped out that pack completely now which is great. So I thought I would share the video with you anyway in case it's useful to you for something else. You can always extend it or whatever but I, I wanted to make one that you could use 6x6 six six inch papers with and that's what you're going to need. Two pieces and of course this is going to blind you. Two pieces of the paper cut 6 inches by 6 inches. Two pieces of cherry cobbler card because that matches that particular paper. Three inches by an inch wide. I think it's an inch wide. This is just check. Uh, th yes, three inches by an inch. And I have, I'll show you what I'm doing it later. Um, I've gone ahead and stamped this all out, coloured it in, added a bit of wink of still as you can see. So that will go in the front. I have two wee... Um, candy dots that I can stick over the top of my felt and you do a strip of felt that is three quarters of an inch deep by ten, roughly ten and a quarter inches you can trim away whatever extra so we're going to get started it is pretty simple I'm sure you've guessed already get yourself also two pieces of um, ribbon of some sort whatever you want to use and go with this so it's roughly seven inches i'm still lucky enough to have enough of this we're near the end of it now but it only comes out at christmas time so it's a great wee wool a piece of wool would do the same the same job if you have any old wool then about so what do i need to do score Ugh. so we're scoring go both of these get them um so they're both running the same way for the back and the front and we're going to score three sides at one inch. So we're going to leave the top not scored. So just score one inch. And the same with the other one. Now, we're just going to join two of these. We're going to cut up the bottom here on both of them. And then we're joining them together to make one long. I'm sure if I'm tilting this, it's probably blinking you, so close your eyes. So, both sides do that. We'll actually cut one away. We could actually cut two away. So I'm going to join that to that, which will keep it nice. Let's see if this way it matches any better. Not really. They're both the same, so I'm going to cut a side one off this. So it's two squares you won't need. Okay. So we're going to join that and that joins it all up. This one will join to that one. So we want to stick it here. 
and I'm using um, Kalal glue and hoping this will hold it. I'm not bothering to put the glue on this part yet. We want to get this wee bit done and let it dry and then put our felt on. So just make sure you don't go over your folds. Should have actually folded that first and burnished it. Messy as usual. Just going to do those two just so it, everything looks okay. Top and bottom, you want a nice clean uh, finish at the top there. But don't worry too much because your felt will cover it. So that should start sticking for me. I want my felt now. We'll do our folds here just so I can explain this better to you. Just make sure everything's meeting nicely there. So this is taken it's again this shiny paper it's beautiful to look at but annoying one of the designs upside down did the same the last time too but you won't see it inside you won't so this all comes together like so gives you a nice good sturdy box so you're going to have one where the belt needs to come around and one where it doesn't so you want to start probably at this side and just put it up we're going to use one of the patterns on this just down about a quarter of an inch the whole way over but you do need it to come to here so the glue that i suggest you using is either a hot glue gun or yoo glue because you want it to hold the fabric and i'm just going to go with a long line Right down to the bottom. The only part I didn't touch was this wee edge up here. And then use part of the pattern to guide you. Should hold that up. So I'm gonna to go to the bottom of these wee um this top triangle and that should keep me nice and straight, hopefully. Right, we're just going to let that dry. And then we'll have to close her up. Now that glue does dry fairly quickly. So just make sure you're happy enough with it. I'm going to come back to you in a second. I'm going to give mine a wee second just to dry. So we've, we're ready now to join this part. And um, I should really have brought that out slightly so it overlapped underneath, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to put a tiny bit of that Yoohoo glue where this should fold up, just along here. And I'm just holding that up so that it just sits nicely there. And again, I'll have to wait to text and come straight back to you. So I'm back to the drawing board. Didn't like it at all. I didn't like the way it was joining from it. I stupidly should have done it right in the first place. But here we go. So we're going over to halfway of this one. And right down. It's halfway of this one. I've turned it round. I don't think it's the whole one actually we're going to, but the whole half it'll dry. So here we go again. Oh shaking my timbers. 
so this is the length of the strips that you get in that pack anyway if you happen to have it so we're going to put it here isn't that right I'm going to follow that design again that was good because that was shiny paper my felt just came rolling off so easy I love the escape so we shall let that dry yet again and hopefully when I bring that over that one will be underneath and that one will be trimmed there and then I'm going to cover that join so fingers crossed I shall be back so we're finally dry and I'm going to trim off a wee bit of felt from the end here So we want to join up our wee packet now. So again, make sure it's coming together at the top. This one will go underneath, of course. My head's on something else. Come on. Right, this will join here. Okay, we're going to put a good deal of um, sticky stuff. I'm going to try this on top of that. I don't know if it'll hold it or not. But we shall see. So again, Try and get them to line up. It may or may not hold there. But we're going over the top of it with our lovely big closure, so I'm not going to worry about it. You want to hold this up, fold your two pieces in and put a bit of glue and then we're going to I think fold this one in and the other one back so straighten it up we put a bit of UV on that but we'll see what happens and um, now you want to see the bottom of it With all those nice wee layers, it gives it a good wee bottom. The things I do to use up paper, huh? So we'll give it a wee squidge of this just for good measure. Messy eyes stuff, but it does hold well. So, I'll put a wee clip on that maybe just to hold it in the meantime. So, it takes. So, we're getting there. We we'll want now to um, punch a hole at either side for the wee ribbons. And we we'll need our covers done for our sides. So, we'll do that too. This one I've went ahead. I've just run lines of it down on the scoreboard. These are... Goodness me, sparkling everywhere. As I said, three inches by one inch. So just run that down. As you can see, I've rounded the corners at one end. Turn it round to the flat end and scored at one and a half. And that will make your redo that. And on these you want to add, where is it, or two wee candy dots and I have some um, dimensionals on the back of these. So I'm just going to stick them in place when this is flat. Oh my goodness. It is definitely one of those days. 
Isn't this the lake where nobody knows where they're supposed to be? So one there. And just line it up so they're both pretty even. And one there. Just gives them a wee finish. And again, I'm going to put it on with the probably the UH glue because it'll hold, definitely hold the top. But you can see it gives it a lovely wee finish. So I'm going to stick these two in place. So I put that other one on with just this glue here. So I'm going to try the same with this side. If I can get in here and I'll just show you how it don't. Now it takes a wee while for you to hold it because of the felt. But just be patient, it's worth persevering. So the rounded side is going to be your outside bit. So you want to make sure and get your fold right, you know, there. So it's right on the edge of your fabric. And then press those bits and just keep pressing them. Just make sure that's down fully so there's no gaping gap up there. And hold that to cover your join. And I'll be back in a sack. So my perseverance has paid off. It's uh, finally stuck. Um, we want to add our wee ribbons now. So we're going to punch a hole about what, three quarters of an inch in. I'm going to go right under the felt. I'm not going to go much further. So three quarters of an inch brings me to the centre of the green one and the centre of the red one. So that keeps me right. If you have a nice wee design like that, um, you don't need to think too much about it. So I'm going to punch it right under there. And in the green one. And we're going to do the same on the other side. Red and the green. And then we're just going to thread this through and tear knot on the inside. So that's not sticking out too much. Just pull that through without pulling it the whole way through and tie a wee knot. And bring your knot right to the end. Unless you have more ribbon than me and you can make your straps longer. This is only a cocoa bag so it doesn't need to um, be very long. And it sort of is balanced to the side, the size of the bag. You don't want a big long dangly strap for a wee small bag so you don't pull that through tie a knot, knot. and if you free of your knot opening if you add a wee bit of glue to the ends let it harden before you pull it through that should keep them for you so we'll do the same on the other side so that's both those done we're going to add our wee bits and pieces now and fill the back the bag out before we stick our front piece on. Oh, a wee biscuit. So you could fill the top of that with the uh, shreddies or whatever you know you like to use. So I'm hoping that's a good base now. I've got three. I just cut round this. I stamped it, coloured it and cut round it, leaving a wee white area. I did mount it onto some cherry cobbler. But I didn't like it. It just wasn't doing anything for it, so I took it off again. So that should just sit like so. And there we go. I only need two of these, lucky enough, um, for two family members. So I just wanted to jazz it up a wee bit more older than the ones I've made for the youngsters. So that is it finished. I hope it's of good value to you. Maybe you could make some wee gift bags if you're heading away for them wee candles at this time of the year is nice. But anyway, happy new year to you all. I hope you have a good old time. I hope, like myself, if you don't like, I hate New Year's Eve. I think it's really sad and depressing. I just like to start the new year and forget about the one behind us, you know. So who knows what we've all been through. But anyway, hopefully next year will be a lovely one for us all. And I'll catch us all again soon. Bye.